Hey guys, it is Jacob here with, I don't know, part 3 of my seating Rehan. I'm at level 98, I'm, I have a good news and a bad news for you guys. I'm able to clear 8.4 maps, I'm leveling up it in an 8.3 maps, but I'm not able to cap the dummy yet, not even with my damage pack spirit, this is my leveling pack spirit setup. Check it here. So this is my leveling back spirits setup. And the build deals around like 90 billion DPS. But it is enough to clear 8.4 maps relatively safely because the build is really tanky and can tank almost everything. The only things that kill me are those like green or purple aura rares. And there has to be two of those to be able to kill me. Other than that, not even the boss in uh, Nightmare is not able to kill me with his skills, so you can just stand in pretty much everything and everything eventually dies. But the damage is low. Good news is it is able to clear 8.4 maps. Bad news is it was not cheap. Like I spent around 8k FEs on this and I had I have like four crafted five crafted items and I still need to craft my two rings, boots and the shield. So yeah, 8k for the gear and the statue of the god setup without sparks and mods. So yeah, I'm not counting these. So if you don't have those, just don't use those. You can still get this setup just without these. So you would just put this horizontally here. So all of them support each other. Yeah, and get the spark eventually. So far, I believe that I almost have a second spark, maybe. Yeah, I have 17 emulating flames, so I could buy a second spark already. Yeah. Uh, build this fun. You just run and everything dies. I will show it right here. I will show it in... I will show, I will show it in 8.3 map first. And I have two setups prepared for you. One without Eternity and one with Eternity. The one without Eternity, which is this one, with this amulet, which converts or which gives you energy shield based on your maximum life. That's your standard setup, which you will use for normal mapping. And what you want to do with that is, in your auras, you will use Precise Steadfast. So that's how this works. Because I'm scaling more uh, elemental and erosion resistance from armor so I want a source of enough armor to cap to cap these mods here actually you want two of those I have this one and then I have this mod which copies the, the mod there so that's 16% uh, resistances which when you have like above maximum resistance every point of your maximum resistance give give you like maximum life sort of like for every four points of resistances above your max you get one percent max life and then and then you then convert the max life into energy shield so that's how you scale to like 42k effective hp here not counting mm, damage mitigations so yeah, th that was the clear with the normal setup. So as you can see, 8.3 map. I'm just leveling in this one, and I'm using the the second setup that I, that I will show you in the next map. Enjoy this moment. The champion deserves the honor. Okay, that's 8.3 map, and for the eternity setup, you just slot in eternity and you swap the armor aura for energy fortress to get some energy shield base and now what eternity does it gives you more speed it gives you more damage eventually uh, the map would look like this 
and how it works is it gives you defense stacks so it eventually stacks up your armor as well as your energy shield so you are getting more and more damage as the map goes on and you kill more monsters those are these stacks on top of the screen so I use Eternity just to clear the maps faster during the leveling because I just want to level up faster, you know? And as you can see the clear is pretty much the same. Uh, most of the times it will be uh, faster just because you will go faster, you will move through the map faster and your AoE is larger so you don't need to backtrack like ever. Because you start hitting monsters on the top of the screen and as you run through them, you are still hitting them even when they are on the bottom of the screen, so you just run and everything dies. So yeah, those are the two uh, item setups. For the skills, uh, everything stood the same. I just bought new candles, so I have critical strike damage on one of the candles, so I can slot in Mark. And instead of uh, Elemental Fusion, I'm using Elemental Impact. What that allows me to do, uh, what I've noticed, Elemental Fusion disables your like elemental ailments. You cannot inflict elemental ailments with your skills. And that disables one of our uh, like talent passives. While this one gives you additional damage as well. Not as much as the Elemental Fusion, but it also provides you with uh, elemental penetration and the large passive that it that elemental fusion disables is this one which you deal 25% additional damage for every elemental element on the enemy and I'm inflicting chill and shock so that's 50% additional damage for some reason I've stopped I stopped uh, inflicting uh, ignite or burning what is it called ignite and I don't know why, I did not figure out why I stopped inflicting Ignite. I was inflicting it before, now I'm not. I don't know why. Yeah, so 50% additional damage from that. And another 30% additional from this. Instead of only 38% additional from this one. So yeah, nets you more damage. Nets you lower number here, but overall will give you more damage and the second candle i have is just a soul stealing candle to make me a bit faster during the map uh, burst of anger attack speed with activation premium put any activation here just to, so you don't have to like think about the skill i just press it once at the start of the map and then i don't care blink uh, when you are enraged or where you have berserk you cannot use your weapon, so attack skills, attack movement skill like uh, Spiral Strike is not an option here, so you have to choose a different one. I, I chose Blink, a uh, parry with periodic burst to get uh, to get a burst of attack speed every six seconds for two seconds. So yeah, it get, helps you with a, helps you a little bit with damage as well. Pulse Rage, more damage. Uh, supported by multi strike, so every time you multi strike, and this is off cooldown. Uh, the character casts it automatically, same with Fearless Warcry, uh, increasing their duration as much as possible. You also run some duration mods on your items, so yeah, you are trying to keep uh, these up as much as possible. First aura here, Energy Fortress or Steadfast, depending on which setup you choose to run. With Eternity you're, you use Energy Fortress, with a normal amulet you use Precise Steadfast to get the armor. Second Aura, Precise Swiftness. We do not have uh, like enough uh, Aura uh, sealed, sealed mana mods to be able to run another 20% Aura here, which I would run Steadfast instead of the Precise Swiftness. So yeah, 10% sealed mana Aura here. Swiftness gives you some movement speed, gives you some cooldown recovery speed, so it helps you with blinking more often and it helps you with casting your buffs more often. Great aura. The third aura, precise elemental resistance. Precise gives you more resistances, 
so you have more life from your resistances from your hero traits so this is important here the precise elemental resistance is important and the last aura is fearless yeah for the passives nothing changed i will post the build in the description of the video and show it here just like briefly last three points i will put them in life energy energy shield regain just to negate uh, one of the negative map mods that actually affect the build all the regeneration comes from regain and there is a map mod that gives you like 12% 12, 12 reduced regain so you just want to get more regain to negate this uh, negative effect on maps anything else I just clear with ease so this tree and elementalist like this and for the statue of the god peaceful realm then i run uh, one attack speed a uh, last god steer with attack speed and three with attack damage if you feel like you struggle with critical strike chance you can run two attack damage and then buy one that gives you like two critical strike rating per point of order which will be cheaper than this one but these do not cost that much less just like 300 fe's and 150 for each and the critical one would be around 20 so that's really cheap then you want four of these like 18 percent additional order decrease speed and 15% effect and we have them like this uh, in the corners or like just so each of them support each other so you don't lose your uh, order stacks during the map basically yeah and then if you don't have your spark yet then you don't use spark basically if you have it you put it in the middle of your uh, last god steers just so it supports all of them and gets the buff from all of them and then i use two mods and you want you want two fallen starlights with this 0.5 percent elemental resistance per 2000 armor and 0.5 percent erosion resistance per 2000 armor and you want it at least twice so what i'm doing here i have it once with the bottom talent here and I'm copying that talent with one of my mods so that allows me to use another mod to copy one of my damage talents here so yeah but if you don't have the mods which are not cheap I get it you can just buy two fallen starlights with elemental resistance and erosion resistance here and just run two instead of the mods that's it I mean that's nothing crazy it's like i don't know maybe 1500 for all of this if you don't count the sparks <coughs> so definitely uh, affordable and gives you a lot provides you with a lot of damage i'm still missing a lot of damage and i'm still trying to figure out figure out why what i think is that i need to upgrade my rings and i need to upgrade my shield and hopefully that will push me above the dummy cup but yeah that's the topic that's a topic for another video so hopefully i will get there we'll see uh i'm not having fun playing the game anymore so we'll see if i will manage to farm for it but those would be the upgrades like you want life on rings you want you want elemental d destruction uh curse on one of your rings and then you want as you want as much resistances as you can get just because maximum resistance uh, scales your maximum life you can see here i have these are my resistances and those are scaling my life which then gets converted into energy shield as you can see i have 20 this 20 000 life and let's swap the energy shield aura with, with my normal setup I have 21k life and 23,000 energy shield and that that just comes from yeah from the gear obviously right and then from the maximum resistances 
So maximum life on helmet. I will put this into the builder so you can check it there. Maximum life, elemental damage, resistance is aura effect. Uh, on the gloves, uh, fervor, melee skill level, maximum life. And then either resistances or chance to deal double damage. I ended up with low rolls here. I would like to upgrade these, but I, I run out of FEs, so this is what I have to stick with. On the belt, defense, max life, kill effect duration. Kill effect duration is important because it increases your uptime of your buffs. Then elemental resistance, resistance and cooldown recovery. On the boots, again, maximum life, maximum life, maximum life would be the preferable choices here. Movement speed and then resistances and then you want to dreamcraft percent life on the boots as well. So this will be a huge boost as well for my damage once I uh, craft those. And on the shield, you again want maximum life, maximum life and elemental penetration. And in the suffixes you want Warcry effect and resistances. And for the sword, additional damage to life, uh, penetration, armor penetration, ear attack speed and chance to deal double damage. Sadly I got low, low rolls on both of my double damage chances. If I got high I would be around 60% already and that would be like really nice boost but yeah I have to work with what I got so that's my gear uh, for the hero relics and memories as I showed you in last video you are just trying to boost your seating spirit damage and area through this then you need this uh, bottom mod to gain nine additional rage when seating spirit uses a skill seating spirit is your only source of damage so you are just generating rage all the time and then as, mu as much max rage as possible. Then I've bought normal version of, of future burnt offering if you don't have enough to buy this which is I believe is around 180 or 200 maybe free. Uh, then just buy the then just buy the prototype you will you will get like maybe 35 percent less damage from the prototype the prototype scaps and Prototype caps at 60%, this caps at 100, so that's the damage loss there. And I'm still missing the normal version of Ancestral Hate. So yeah, that would be the build from me for now. Uh, capable of creating 8.4s, I can show it just for a demonstration here. But yeah, for anyone who does not want to watch this, this was the build. Hope you guys enjoy my videos. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Carry the weight of both honor and, and now shame. let's go through the 8.4 map. This is 8.3, right? Okay, my bad. I'll run 8.4. A gigantic machine in front of your eyes. So once again, 8.4. When you look at it, something seems to be also Go. gazing. <clears throat> so as you can see, it can clear it still just fine. Just some of the elites might get tankier, like these. In 8.3, they are still tankier but most of the times you still kill them relatively quickly but the build is so tanky that you don't need to like fear of dying much you can see here like this is all physical damage and just degens my life but i'm able um, but i'm able to uh, uh, recoup it through the energy shield regain my three So yeah, 8.4 map, like this. These lightnings are all are lightning and physical damage, I believe. So yeah. Uh, 
Let's kill the boss. That will take a while. <laughs> but as you can see, the build is really tanky. I can just stand and wait for it to die. So, if you are not just standing around like this and you move a bit, you should. That's a really low possibility of you dying, basically. So yeah, that's it for my build presentation. Thanks everyone for watching. Again, thank you, thank you all for your support. Uh, subscribe, like the video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!